hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be drafting a basic bodice block this is all I need um, for this so the first thing I'm going to do is to mark one inch as an edge this is also going to be a shoulder line you mark your one inch and connect it into a straight line and mark it as your shoulder line so from there I'm going to mark my bust height my bust height is from my shoulder to my bust which is 12 then my waistline I marked my waistline and then I marked my hemline which is the length of the blouse and then I'm going to connect it all with my straight ruler and label accordingly You can mark your desired length for mine i use 24 so if you want it longer or shorter it all depends on your choice so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my horizontal measurement what we did now is the vertical measurements so but before then i am going to um, mark my neckline for my neckline i use three by three that is three for the wideness and three for the width three inches and then i connected it to my curved ruler this is going to be my front um, neckline and then i mark my shoulder my shoulder is seven inches and then on that shoulder line i came down by one inch this is going to be for the shoulder slants and then you use um, my ruler to connect it in this way so now i'm going to go ahead and mark all my horizontal measurements the first is my bus circumference so you divide your bus circumference by four and mark it your waist circumference divided by four you mark mine is 7.5 and then hip circumference divided by four mine is 10.2 and i marked it and then connected it with a straight ruler so after connecting it i'm going to use uh, my curved ruler to shape shape my waistline a little bit because I don't want those sharp edges Our body is curved. So you're going to add a little curve to it You can use your free hand to do it as well or your curved ruler So after that the next thing is to mark our chest line the chest line is post the conference divided by C's what you get you add 1.5 my chest line is 9.5 and on that shoulder line on shoulder slant i'm going to come down by 9.5 and then connect it into a straight line and label it as my chest line so after that i'm going to connect um connect it into a straight line from my shoulder to that chest line i'm going to connect it into a straight line and this is going to where i'll mark uh, my arm armhole so to mark my armhole i'm going to find the midpoint the midpoint is um remember my chest line is 9.5 so 9.5 divided by 2 is 4.5 and mark it and then uh, go in by half of an inch to curve my front ammo so this is for the front pattern you go in by half of an inch and then because i don't want this uh, ammo to be so tight i want to be i, I want it to be a little bit uh, relaxed on my body so i'm going to add an extra one inch and then i connect it on my shoulder I connect it to the boss line like so 
yeah we are almost done with this so the next thing we're going to do is to uh, create our darts to create your darts is bus distance divided by 2 my bus distance is 8 divided by 2 is 4 then I marked 4 inches and then um, connected it with a straight line so for the length of uh, the darts on the bus line you come down by 1 inch and on the hem line you come up you go up by 2 inches that will be the length of the darts for the front pattern on the hem line you come up by 2 inches and then on the waistline where you marked your bust distance you add half inch to each um, side and then you connect your darts with your straight roller so guys that's basically all all for your front person it's easy right <laughs> i know i know it's so easy to do so after connecting this i'm going to go ahead to cut out uh my pattern so i'm going to use the same front pattern to you know trace out um the one for the back on another pattern paper so there's not much difference for um from this front pattern and the back the only difference is just um i'm going to add um extra allowance um for the zip and also the length of the dance is going to be different so because of this that i'm going to add an extra one inch at that waist and half half inch down this is because after connecting um my dots you know the measurement is going to um it's going to affect my measurement so i'm going to add it so that when i connect my dots when i join my dots um it's it's it will still remain uh the the way i want it guys i don't know how to explain this but that's you know basically what i'm doing so that's all for the front pattern i'm going to go ahead to label my front pattern and then cut this out and then we'll do the back yeah pattern so guys if you're not yet subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe click on the notific on notification bell so that you get notif notified anytime i post a new video guys subscribe 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 guys subscribe yeah so go ahead to cut it and then we'll do our back pattern so guys i've gotten a new um pattern paper for the back so what i'm going to do here is to add two inches for my zipper allowance so guys you can skip this process if you don't want a zip probably if you're using a stretchy fabric and you don't want to add a zip or you know any of those you can skip this process but i'm going to add two inches for my zipper allowance i'm going to mark two inches and then connect this into a straight line and then I'm going to place this back pattern on that line that I've created I'm going to place it on it and then pin it down to hold it in place So I'm going to go ahead to trace this front pattern for the back 
after tracing it, I'll cut it out and then we'll do the work we need to do for the back pattern. That is adding the, the dart and also the neckline. So for this neckline, I'm going to use one inch for the depth. This is because I want my back uh, neckline to be higher than the front. You can use 1.5, you can use 2 inches, whichever one you desire. And also for uh, my armhole, so guys the armhole of the back is a bit shallower than the front. Yeah, so uh, remember the, uh, the front? I am came came in by by half of an inch so for the back you don't need to do that you're just going to mark it that way so yeah I connected my my neckline connect it with your curved ruler You can either cut it this way or you make sure you trace out all the needed um, lines. So now I've taken off, um, taken out the front pattern. So we're going to work on the back pattern. Connect the shoulder slants. And then you're going to connect all the lines so you don't get confused. Connect my chest line, my bust line, my waist as well. So after that, I'm going to create my dart. So for the length of the dart, this time around, we are going to come, um, it's going to be from the chest line. For the front pattern, the, the dart started from the bust line, but for this one, it's going to start from the chest line. So that's the only difference, the length. So you mark your four inches, Add half inch on both sides. So on my hemline, I came up by two. And then on this chest line, I'll come down by one inch. And then I connect connect it like so first connect the straight line and then you connect your dots So guys, that's all for the back pattern. I'm going to label it as the back and then I'll cut it out. So after cutting out, I'm going to go ahead to shape the zip allowance. Shaping it is because our, our back is not straight. It's also slanted or curved. So we're going to shape our zip allowance as well. So you don't have, you don't end up having a funny, a funny zip.
so now that we're done cutting it out we're going to shape our zip so to shape the zip you're going to come on your waistline we come on your waistline and then connect that line trace that line out to the connect it to that zipper allowance then on that line you find the midpoint you know our zipper allowance I took my zipper allowance as two inches so two for the mid, mid, mid midpoint is going to be one because it's two inches that right there so you're going to look for the midpoint and then you slant it this way and there you see you really see how how curved it's going to be you already got some your curve your slant so yeah that's basically all you need to do to draft your basic bodies so with these bodies you can make um, a lot of things so guys thank you thank you thank you for coming for watching thank you for stopping by i hope to see you on another video where i will i will cut and sew these basic basic bodies so here is our front and our back pattern thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share See you on my next video. Bye.